Wimbledon's top two are also the country's top two, but if Wimbledon win this game, that's going to be the way of it. This is the sort of occasion they love, big names putting big reputations at risk and a sellout crowd to see it. Five of the Arsenal team are in the England squad for the trip to Georgia. They include Ian Wright, who celebrates his 33rd birthday tomorrow. In seven games here since leaving Crystal Palace, he scored seven times. Arsenal are unchanged. Seaman, Platts, Merson and the recalled Adams are the others heading for Tbilisi. The defence has regained its reputation for meanness. Those players haven't conceded a league goal in more than eight and a half hours. Joe Kinnear believes that having a settled team has contributed to Wimbledon's rise. No changes today. The biggest threat to the Arsenal backline should be the pace of Okoko and Gale. The entire team cost less than Dennis Bergkamp. The referee's mileage claim shouldn't be excessive. Paul Olcott comes from just down the A23. The winners of this will be top of the Premiership tonight. If it's a draw, Arsenal will stay there. It is a fairly breezy afternoon, which may have something of an influence on the game we're about to see. Gale. Not the bowl to deal with. Oh, it Coco nipped in. Down he goes. Now, what does the referee say? Vinnie Jones is rushing towards the referee, claiming a penalty. And Paul Olcock, with the earliest possible decision to have to make, says no. Less than 10 seconds gone as Gale headed it on, and Bold was so careless. He allowed it to bounce, he plainly didn't see a Koku. Round he went, and there was contact made. Wimbledon perhaps slightly unlucky. Jones with the long throw. Again, a Koku's in there, and it's a corner. Happy needs to be watched for. Kia. Thatcher. Earl. Met by Adams. Bergkamp. Intercepted by Cunningham. And Wimbledon have men forward here. Earl screaming for it in the centre. This is a Koku. Good tackle by Vieira. It's a really full-blooded start to this London derby. Vieira for Wright, who's gone away from Perry. Here's Ian Wright. He scored! Recalled by England yesterday, his 33rd birthday tomorrow, and a scorer today for Arsenal. Selhurst Park since leaving here after being a Crystal Palace player and now eight goals to his credit. He loves returning to his old stomping ground and that's a classic finish. And Vieira brought the ball out of his own defence, played it forward, split the defence and you can rely on Ian Wright from there. Well, Vieira has been playing at centre-back. He's also nice available in the penalty area. Still it's Dixon. Behind for a corner. Wimbledon have ten men back to defend this corner that Winterburn is going to take. Adams, Keown, and Bold all forward. There's Adams off the line by Thatcher. Winterburn again. This time it's the goalkeepers. Well, the goalkeeper was beaten. And when Winterburn swung in the corner, Adams rose highest of all, and Thatcher was the last line of defence. Ardley with the corner. Bold's header straight back to Ardley. Still Wimbledon with plenty of men forward. Is that handball? I think it was. The referee's assistant on the far side spotted that by Merson. So this is better than a corner. Ardley again. Oh, and as it's crept in. Billy Jones got there. How did that creep beyond Seaman? It was Ardley's free kick. There were bodies flying all over the place. And Vinnie Jones was missed by two defenders. And Seaman got a hand to it but couldn't keep it out. How Jones will enjoy that moment, it's 1-1. Only in right, 
Yes. Not too many strikers would even have got a shot on target from that sort of position. But when Merson knocked it through, there was an inevitability that Sullivan would be tested. Adams. Cunningham. More than that, apart from Bold. Cunningham has twice blocked it, not the third time, here's Vieira. Merson, Bergkamp's made a run through the centre. They're hanging off Merson, though. Right. Here's Merson on his left foot. Good finish by Paul Merson. Gets his fifth goal of the season. Ian Wright was actually tumbled over inside the penalty area in the follow-up to the goal. That won't bother him because Arsenal are back in the lead and could well be staying on top of the Premiership pile. The referee allowed play to continue and he might have blown for a free kick. That proved to be a good decision, and it was a fine, driven, angled shot. Here's Ardley. Bold gets it away. Cunningham. And he tackles now with Winterberg. Free kick to Wimbledon. Passions are running high. Ardley with it. Seaman punched. Thatcher, came off gold. Jones with the throw. Adams met that so firmly. Jones. Arsenal failed to clear. Earl. Gale with the header. He's bottled it in. Ben Thatcher was in there as well. thrown on the goal line but amidst the chaos what is certain is that Wimbledon have equalised again and it's 2-2 Jones took the initial throw it came back to him there was the centre Platt failed to get the clearing header in effectively Earl poked it back in and there's Marcus Gale arriving and then he seemed to just touch it in with his follow through inadvertently it's been that sort of day Chris Perry has received a yellow card for another off-the-ball incident. Face, and that's it. Arsenal twice ahead. Ian Wright scoring to celebrate his England call-up and his forthcoming birthday tomorrow. And Joe Kinnear walks off knowing there's another chance of slip by to go top. But 2-2 against Arsenal is a highly creditable result. For their part, the Gunners stay on top of the table. And after a rip-roaring game, it's handshakes all round and applause all round.